So uh, we're going to a local uh, vendor who sells uh, clay diyas. So this time what I'm going to do is going to pick up a few uh, clay diyas, uh, terracotta diyas and then bring them home, wash them and paint it. So usually every year what I've been doing is make my own diyas but this time I thought let me actually go buy the diyas and then you know just paint it and uh, you know share it with uh, family and friends. So let's go and buy some diyas. I think cool, huh? to this particular you know traditional shape so i really like these and uh, the first thing that i'm going to do is probably go wash these and then uh, dry them and paint it so that's it so these are ready to be painted now it's all nice and clean uh, so let's get started Good morning, uh, so I'm here to complete uh, two more of these sets that I have to complete. So these are ready and they look so pretty um, and I really want to complete these two. Now um, there's, just, there's just a lot to complete uh, today because I have to also work on creating some content for the uh, channel and uh, make products for the website as well. Uh, because I was thinking of probably scheduling a firing sometime uh, maybe a, a week from now and uh, with the weather being the way it is, uh, pieces are taking a lot longer to dry. Uh, so yeah, but then let's not waste any time here. Uh, we'll get started on the uh, painting of these two years and uh, see how the whole thing turns out. diyas are painted and uh, it's almost dry uh, some of it like these ones that I just completed this one's drying uh, but almost there so um, now the next step is to varnish and uh, then these are going to be ready to use so for the diyas I uh, was thinking of using this one I, I rarely use the gloss varnish I did buy it and you can see that you know it's almost uh, full it's 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 never or probably used only just once I guess um, so it's a full bottle and I thought okay let me go ahead and give this a shot because you know it, it's nice it can be a little bit shiny uh, so um, I have transferred a little bit of the contents into my palette over here and uh, 
to the diyas which have been completely dried uh, so i'll i'll just varnish you know apply a nice neat coat of varnish so by the way to this particular diya i did add a couple of these white dots uh, because the yellow ochre while it looked nice and subtle i just felt like there needs to be something that just gives it a nice pop so the white uh, uh, does just that and uh, so let's go ahead and varnish it so it'll just the whole thing would look nice and um, you know bright there you go all the diyas are varnished and ready these look lovely don't they beautiful color combinations A very happy and prosperous Deepavali to each and every one of you. Our best wishes and I really hope you all have a great year ahead. Thank you. No, I'm going to go there. I'm going to go down and tell you what I'm going to do. Uh...